I want them to fly high, you know, go out there, yeah, to get the recognition. But deep in my heart, like, oh. I think it's um, the experience I have in teaching since uh, I'm doing as a part-timer, uh, as a tuition teacher 20 years ago during my degree study and postgraduate study. Yeah, I enjoy the interaction with the students, especially the young kids. And I think this made me energetic and feel young as well. The story behind is just because of instant noodle. Don't know why, I just love to eat instant noodle when I'm young. I think my parents is the one that stopped me from all this. I still remember what they told me. See your hair, yeah, getting less and less. Yeah, it is so much. Huh? So that time I'm thinking, why can't instant noodle be healthy and delicious at the same time? So this really sparked my interest in food product development. Hey, I say one day I want to develop something tasty, at the same time healthy. I still remember this is the first time in my life I against my parents. <laughs> yeah, this is the first time I told them that I don't want to study pharmacy as they wish. I choose to tell them that no, I think I want to do something that I, I really enjoy, which is about food. At the end, they say, okay, yeah, this is your choice. process of learning is more important than the outcome. As long as you're able to get the essence of the process, you know every single step, the rationale of every single step you do, basically you learn. Yeah, the outcome can be different for many uh, factors that influence or affect the outcome. But with understanding, with knowing the process, basically uh, the success rate is definitely much more higher, especially when it comes to food product development. You can't be mastering in one product. So knowing the process is much more important. Uh, this is something I always emphasize in class. <laughs> yeah. For me, I'm not sure whether it sounds weird when the lecturers will always tell students, don't kill yourself for CGPA 4.0. If 3.67 give you a first class honor, just enjoy the process, enjoy the degree life more. Ah, maybe because I'm not a first class honor student. <laughs> I find a way that to make sure they are close or at least they, they appreciate their classmate because this degree memory will be the best in your life. I always say, hey, you hate this person, you hate that person, and then you compete with this person for what? In future, when you look back, right, you're young child that time, you don't even have a memory to talk about. Whenever people ask me, how you see yourself in five years, 10 years, or for me, this is a challenge. Because um, I'm the type of person that never think too far that what I will become. But I always look at current, what are those options that I have? I choose the one that actually suit me and I think that I will be able to perform or enjoy doing it. So I think this is my principle and just need to make sure that you do the right things and you go all out for all the choices that you have done. So I think this is the same message I have been always sending out to my students in class. I said, yes, we worry about, about our future, okay? But don't overstress yourself for that, but make sure you do all out, do it right, yeah? Hi, Dr. Hey, Chong. Just want to thank you for being me. such a great lecturer, <laughs> mentor, well. friend to me. <laughs> uh, I know that you have made an impact in my colonology journey at Taylor's, as well as my Taylor's. juniors and seniors. I uh, can't wait to meet you physically, to reminisce on the times of our RCA training days, along with our FYP uh, days as well. So thank you, and I can't wait to see you.
Hello, Dr. Chong. Um, I just wanted to hop in real quick to thank you for your guidance uh, throughout the past three years. I really admire the passion you have for what you do and I'm really appreciative and thankful that you've always supported my personal and professional development since day one. So I do hope that you know your effort doesn't go unnoticed at all. Um, I hope to see you very soon. Take Hi, care and stay safe. Hi, Dr. Chong. Surprise, it's Rick here. I'd like to take this opportunity to show how grateful I am to be one of your first students in cardiology in our group BS3. And uh, one of the fondest memories of Dr. Chong was her bringing our group BS3 to New Orleans for the RCA competition in America. Uh, I think that was the first time in charge of uh, bringing all three teams of us there by herself. And the fact that she could keep all, th all three teams of us in check is really a feat in itself, let alone trying to be the advisor for three, three competing teams uh, representing Taylor's University that year. Um, for that, I'd like to say thank you. Thank you for sacrificing all your time and effort, pushing us to our limit uh, so that we could hone our skills. And uh, you, could, you, are, you also gave us a lot of our first, such as our first time experiencing doing our final year project and uh, exposing us to the food industry internationally and locally. And I think all of that helped mold me into the person I am today. So once again, uh, I'd like to say thank you to Dr. Chong and stay safe. Oh, you all know that. <laughs> ah, you all don't do this to me. <laughs> I think they purposely want they know every semester I'm going to cry once. <laughs> Whenever the 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 last class, yeah, I will sure yeah cry like this. Then I told them <laughs> why you all leave me every time when one batch graduate, I just cannot stand like I want them to fly high, you know, go out there, yeah, to get the recognition. But deep in my heart, like, oh, why you all leave me here? Actually, I'm very grateful to all my students. You know, the relationship you have the people with you. As the lecturers, um, I think most of the time you are spending with students. And I'm always lucky that I have a home here, the R&D kitchen here. And then inside, we are having our long hour class, despite it's tiring. And then I got to taste their, their food every time. And then sometimes like, hello, I say. This is an occupational hazard for me, you know. But then I, I really enjoy the moment when I spend time with them. The memories in the R&D kitchen is really fantastic, wonderful. Through the time, the experience that I spend with my student, I really think that um, lecturer and student can be good friends. Actually, it's not a one-way direction that lecturers teach students absorb the knowledge or learn from the lecturers, but it's a two-way. Uh, throughout the, um, the teaching, actually we learn from students a lot to listen to their thoughts. I want to know more from them. It's very interesting that now the young generation actually have their very interesting mind, a very creative mind. So I love to listen to their ideas. Yeah, so lecturers shouldn't have a uh, far distant from um, student. Maybe uh, when we try not to take this as a teaching job. Yeah, but we're trying to educate and just for knowledge and skill sharing. Yeah. Hi, I'm Dr. Chang Li Chu, Program Director for Bachelor of Science Kalinology, School of Food Study and Gastronomy.